Hi right, guys, I just wanted to record a quick video to show some different servos. Um, these are all fairly cheap servos. At the end we have the Tower Pro MG90S, the Banggood thing. This is the same as the new Racer Star MG90S, they've just put a different sticker on it. Next we have the Emacs ES08MA2, which is, um, th these are both Metal Gear analog servos. Then we have the Emacs ES3352, which is a very slim um, uh, Metal Gear digital servo. Um, the specs are actually slightly better than the M8. Uh, they're the same speed, same voltage range, but this has supposedly got a little bit more torque. Uh, let's see if I can get the specs for both. There we go. So yeah, this one's this one's got a, a little bit more torque in it. Whereas this this is 1.62 kilograms per centimeter. This is 2.4 to 2.8. And the final servo we've got is a bit more of a pricey servo, which is the Corona DS939 high volt. I'll find get the specs up for that. Again, it's it's probably slightly slower because it doesn't actually say what voltage these specs are at. So if it's at the full 8.4 volts, at the lower voltages, it's going to be slightly slower than these two. Um, up to 2.8 kilograms of tor torque, which again is the same as the ES3352. But this has the advantage of going at um, higher voltage, so you could run it straight off of LiPos, that sort of thing. Um, right, so this is just set up on my servo tester. I've got marks for the center point and I was just going to move the dial and just see how the centering is. They all look fairly decent. <laughs> so this is just a standard sweep. I would have put longer bars on, but unfortunately the Corona goes the opposite direction to all the others. So I've left it at the same. But for outright speed, I must say the cheapy Tower Pro actually looks pretty decent for the outright speed. All, all the others seem the same apart from the Corona seems that little bit slower. But again, that's because these, these are running at the moment on 5 volt. They all seem to be, if anything, I think this one is slightly going off, but not by a great deal. Uh, they all look pretty decent to me. <laughs> Maybe I've just been lucky. Um, right, so what I'll do is I'll unplug it now, and we'll stick the, I'm just running this off of a standard uh, Turnergy servo tester. Got two servos into a Y lead and then two inputs on, on there, so it's not like any of them are getting any extra power or anything. Running off of a switch, uh, little UBEC, which can do five, six, and seven volts, and that's just being powered by my lithium ion 4S. All right, so I'll switch this over to six volts, which is the highest that most of the servos can run at. Plug it back in. Right, so now we're at six volts. So that's one. This does seem to jitter a bit more than the others. Yeah, so it's six volts.
Yeah, see, at the higher voltage, the Tower Pro MG90S isn't as good. And the Corona seems to have caught up with the speed. Yeah, see, that's putting me off those MG90s. The others are absolutely fine. But this one, lots of jittering. Looks like they, yeah. Just finger, this one doesn't have as much torque. But that's really scientific. Right, so that's. That's most of those. What I'm doing to do now, I know we can't check it against the others, but I'm just gonna whack the voltage up and put the corona on. So this will be at 7.4 volts, just so we can get an idea of how that performs with that voltage. So, I don't know if that's the servo. I think that's probably... It doesn't seem to be going back all the way. So something's gone weird there. At the high voltage, the centering's way off. It doesn't seem to be any faster. Put it back to six volts and see if uh, let's center it. Right, so that's centered. I'll stick the UBEC back to six volts and see what happens then. See if it goes back to the other center. All right, so that's centered now. So yeah, there's something really odd with you go back, you go to the high voltages, and this thing craps out. So yeah, at six volts, this is absolutely fine. It's just as good as the others. But for a high volt servo, which it's supposed to be, um, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. If you can't actually use it at high volts not and have the same range, which is a, a bit odd. Right. So what I'll do, I'll just show you a comparison for the physical sizes. Sorry, let's put all this tape on to hold, hold it on. But these are all in the sort of micro servo nine gram category. And they're all actually above that. So I think these are 12 and a half grams. I'm not sure what this is. It's, I'm not a hundred percent sure what the Corona is. It probably has it on. Yeah, so 12 and a half, 12.4 and 12. Of course, the Tower Pro doesn't come with a box. And I haven't looked up the specs on Banggood, which is very bad. Bad Darren. Right, so let's have a look at the physical. So that's a pretty much a standard size servo for the Corona. Yeah, that, that will fit. Any anything that wants nine gram servo, that seems to be standard size. The ES three three five two is a really neat little package. So if you look at it, it's a hell of a lot thinner. It's about I think it's nine point five millimeters in thickness, but the height and width. Is the same size so you, this is a lot of people use these in the nano goblin and if they're upgrading it and put them in the wings because it's thin enough to put in the wings so that's that servo the ma2 oh, sorry 
is actually a pretty neat server as well if you're limited on height. So here's the MA2 and the MD2 is exactly the same size as well, it's just digital. So if you put that up against the Corona, you can see it's pretty much yeah, it's the same width. But it's a little bit shorter. So if we put the, the tops together, the flat where the screw goes in, you can see it's about four or five millimeters shorter in the body. So that would be an ideal sort of servo for a replacement in the tail of the Excalibur, that sort of thing. Oh, and last one. Just want to show that they are the servos I'm saying they are as well. So there we have the really a Tower Pro MG90S Micro. Again, that's the same size. Much slightly, slightly shorter than the Corona. But yeah, the the Emax is a hell of a lot shorter. So that's that's basically the servos. What you get with them, the Tower Pro comes with a couple of different horns and some screws. Same with these two. Actually, this this one actually comes with rubber mounting brackets as well. This one's quite cool. It comes with what looks like little mounting brackets. You can see them here. But it's got these little mounting brackets, which I can only assume is they go in there. But anyway, they are the servos, and that was my little test. Thank you.